Hello class, this is Dr. Fenton. In this video, I'd like to show you how to perform horizontal analysis on a set of financial statements. So let's look at the spreadsheets. So this is the balance sheet. Here's the income statement back over here. Let's start with it. Um, in horizontal analysis, you're comparing one year to another year, the later year. So this is the earliest year, 2000 X1. And here are all the numbers in the, from the income statement for that year. And 2000 X2, let's say, is the current year. And what we're going to do is simply just subtract from the current year's numbers, last year's numbers. So $995,000 minus $875,000 equals $120,000. You'll do the same computation, the same subtraction for every account on the income statement. Once you get these differences, then you'll divide these differences by the earliest year. That's the base year. And so you can see dividing $120,000 by $875,000, you can see that net sales went up 13.71%. Perform that same calculation for all these differences that we computed earlier. And you'll see that, you know, some numbers, you know, some percentages go up and some go down, they decrease. Now what you do with this kind of statement is look and make sure that, uh, you know, nothing really stands out. If it does, you need to explore further uh, of why that number is the way it is. Um, you know, we have a nice little bump in sales, gross profits higher, that's good. Uh, we can see the advertising doubled, and you want to make sure that yes, you, you did want that to double, so it went up 100% from the previous year. Others are not a lot of changes. Um, getting down here, you notice I don't have a calculation for gain on sale of land. That's because in the earliest year, we did not sell any. So there's no really calculation to make here. Uh, looks like net income went up 70.95%, so that's a nice increase. So this is the uh, horizontal analysis for the income statement. Now the balance sheet, bring this up. Again, you have the base year, 2000 X1. And let's say you know, a year after, let's say this year, you know, 2000 X2. You do the same thing here as you do the income statement. Just subtract and find the differences. So $46,000 in this cash account, minus $37,000 the year before, Cash went up $9,000. Again, do that for every balance sheet account. Some don't change. You know, land and buildings, we did not buy any or sell any here. Um, and let's see, on the percentages, do the same thing as on the income statement. Take the difference, divide by the earlier year. So $9,000 divided by $37,000. We see that our cash balance went up from one year to the next 24.32%. So again, check all these numbers down through here to see if any stand out. You know, prepaid insurance went up 150%. You can check on that, make sure it's correct. Um, nothing else really stands out here. Your retained earnings bumped up quite a bit. That's good. And that relates to, of course, the income statement results. So this is a quick review of horizontal analysis. It's very easy. You have a base year and you can have, you know, the, the year after and two or three more years. If you want to go back, you know, three, four years and take a look at this. But every change, you divide by the base year to see how much it increased or decreased from that base year. So that's it, and good luck with your studies.